Hi everybody, Colin Anderson here again, and this is a shot I'm going to be looking at today. And the technique we're going to be discussing is how to get this barrel to be out of focus. Um, when you're doing composite shots, a lot of the time you're going to be having um, occasions like this where you're going to have something coming towards the lens, and it has to be out of focus because in real life, if this was actually in the jungle, and we were shooting with this lens, which is a 24 mil lens, and you've got the, the end of the barrel coming this close to the uh, camera, it's going to be out of focus. The problem is, when you're in Photoshop, you've got to cut this out with a hard line, all right? Um, using the pen tool, you outline, outline the guy, and you're going to have a hard edge here. You can feather it, but again, your feathering is going to be different from here to, say, in around here where it's going to be sharper. So what we want to do is just make the end of the barrel out of focus. All right, so let's discuss how we do this. All right, so if I click off my layers and just show you the dude here, all right? So if I come in here nice and close, you're going to see what I'm talking about, all right? Again, you've got this right here. This this sharp this sharpness of the edge here um, isn't really working, all right? So how do we fix this? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to click on our sniper shot here and we want to convert it to a smart object okay so we click on that and we go up to here and go convert to smart object all right now that it's a smart object we can apply a filter and what we're going to do is go to filter blur go to gouache and blur all right and i'm looking at this and i'm all i'm really looking at now is the edge of the barrel compared to the background. And looking at that edge there and the background, 2.2 seems to be a good uh, good match for this. So I'm going to go OK. All right. Apply that. Now, obviously, the problem with this is we have everything's blurred, including his eyes, which we don't want. We just want to affect the edge of the barrel. All right. So what I'm going to do is click on to the smart filters area. And what I'm going to do is fill this with black. What, that, what black will do, it, it'll reveal um, our layer back to what it was, all right? So black's on bottom, I'm going to hit Command, Delete. So that's, everything's filled with black, and I'm right back to the original shot, all right? So you can see his eyes are in focus, and the barrel is back um, sharp, which we don't want. All right, so how do we fix this? Okay, get our brush tool. Make sure white's on top, all right? Remember, white reveals, black hides. So what I'm going to do is get a bigger brush, maybe something like around 44 pixels. I'm going to make sure my flow is at 100, opacity is 100, and I'm just going to go around here, and all I'm doing now is just hitting the edges of the barrel, all right? Just like that, through here. Now what I'm trying not to do is go too much inside. I don't want to hit the inside of the barrel because that's already out of focus. We don't need to make it even more out of focus. We're just trying to get this edge here to um, to believe to be believable with the background and kind of match what's happening on the inside of the blur of the barrel here. All right, so let's just continue that along here. Looks good. Take it into here into here, into here, into here, through there, through there. I'm going to go through here. I'm doing this all in one stroke, all right? You don't have to. You can do a couple if you want, but I'm doing it in one, all right? Into here. And again, I'm just eyeballing the focus, how his hands, if you look in here, still a bit, still a bit soft. So we can still continue in through here, down there, down there, down there, into here, all right? If you look at that now, you notice how the blur here is matching his gloves, which is what you want. All right, let's go up in this area up here, and we've got the blur ending here. So let's just continue this on here. Go up along here, through there. Looks good. Get it through here. Good. Now, we've got to be careful here. This is where we're getting back to where the uh, it's getting a bit sharper around in this area here. In here, it's still a bit soft, so we can afford to take it through here into there and I'm just going to start now just taking it off a bit probably could maybe just a little bit in here again if you find out uh, I don't want to do that um, what you can do is get get rid of it by putting black in front we can just now paint some of that sharpness back in like that all right okay let's we got a little area in here so let's just uh 
get a smaller brush and just hit that in there as well. And there we go. And that's looking pretty good. Good. I think that's about it. All right, let's zoom out. And that's basically it, I think. I mean, that looks pretty accurate. Quick tutorial today for a change. Most of mine are quite long, so I thought I'd do a nice quick, quick uh, tip for you guys. Um, that's about it. If I put all my layers back on, there's my uh, there's my original shot. I've got lots of uh, elements happening there, which I'm not going to discuss today. I just want to talk about how we get this blurriness happening and how the technique I use to do it. Good thing about this is a smart object, so it's non-destructive. So you can go back and forth and tweak it as you like. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, hope you pick something up and learn a new technique. And uh, be sure if you want to find out what I'm doing on a, on a regular basis, check me out on Facebook. Maybe give me some ideas for some tutorials. Um, that's about it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.